Yeah, thank you for coming. Uh, pleasure to speak here. Um, so it's about exactly once. Uh, so what I, what I want to do is first I want to explain what exactly once means. Um, what guarantees it provides, what guarantees it does not provide. Um, and then I want to talk a little bit about stream processing, failure scenarios, and why exactly once is so important. Um, and then we're going to do a technical deep dive um, covering the item potent producer and Kafka transactions that provide exactly once uh, processing guarantees in Kafka. Um, I'm also going to explain how this is used in the Kafka Streams stream processing API. Uh, and yeah, so what does exactly once mean? And I would trace it, uh, ex exactly once means that the result of a computation, including all state changes, is the same if an error occurs during processing or not. I think this kind of high-level definition makes a lot of sense. Uh, and actually, I want to rephrase this a little bit and say, well, exactly once means if a failure happens during the computation and the computation is retried, the result is the same as if each record would have been processed exactly once. And there is where the term comes from. It doesn't mean, exactly once does not mean there are no retries. Retries must be done, but the result is, is the same as if no error happened and no retries would have happened. So why, why is this important? Well, stream processing is taking momentum, and stream processing nowadays must be exact. So if you, if you say you go into the financial industry and you want to transfer money, you cannot transfer money twice. You cannot have duplicates. And Apache Kafka is the heart of the streaming platform. And nowadays, or before exactly once, a lot of people put a lot of effort on top of Apache Kafka uh, to make the application exactly once. So the point is, if a lot of people need it, it's much better that Kafka directly provides those primitives um, because it makes the application code simpler. And also, if it's implemented only once, most likely we have less bugs in it, or hopefully no, none. Uh, and so the overall stack is getting, is getting simplified. So now, if you, if you want to do stream processing with, with Kafka, what does it actually mean? So the overall pattern in stream processing is to say you have some input topics, you do some computations, and you write the result to some output topics. And usually the computation is expressed as a DAG of operators. Here we have an have a example with like a couple of source operators. Um, the one in the middle might be a join or a merge. Uh, and then we have some things that are right into the output topics. Now the important thing is modern stream processing operators can be stateful or stateless. And having state makes the computation uh, much more powerful. But it's also more difficult now to actually provide exactly one's guarantees. And we will see, see, see why. And the last point is that you also have to track your progress on your input topics. So what did I read and what did I process? And if you do stream processing and you have a record, well, you would get an input record and a topic. And since the input record would be flowing through your DAC, the local states would be modified. And then finally, you're getting an output record in your output topic. And as a last step, you would mark the input record as read and consumed, and you move forward to wait for the next input record coming in. Now that's a high level view how stream processing works. So now the question is, well, we talked about failures already. What could go wrong if we do this? And there are three error scenarios I, I want to show here. Uh, and the first one are the classical duplicate writes. So let's say we are, the computation is in this state, the input record was consumed, uh, the states uh, have been updated, and an output record was written. Now something goes wrong, and the application does not recognize that the output was written correctly. So it would retry the write, and while retrying, a duplicate would be introduced. That's something, of course, we don't want to have. That's the first scenario. The next scenario would be duplicate state updates. Similar scenario, we are a little earlier in the computation, 
So the record was processed partially, state was updated, and now in this maybe join operator, something goes wrong. So what stream processing does now, well, mentioned already, we are retrying. So we're going back and we are feeding the record into the uh, topology again. But now the point is, the state was already modified. So when we now do the computation again and read this input record, because we have a different state, we might actually produce a different output record now. This different output record would also update the second state differently and finally end up in the output record as, as a modified record, not as a red record we actually want to have. Second scenario. Then we have a third scenario. Similar to the first one, we have processed the record successfully. It was written to the output topic, all good. And now we want to uh, mark the input record as red. And this could all go wrong. Uh, and if this happens, well, we would also fall back and reread re re this input record. Now both states have already been updated and the output record was also written. And that means when we reprocess this record, well, state modification is different again. We might again produce a different output record and finally write, it's not really a duplicate, but it's something we don't want to have. So it's kind of a duplicate, but it might actually be, have a different value. And so to, to sum this up, if, if we want to do exactly once processing, we need to do all or nothing of those three things. On the one hand, we need to write the results to the output topics. On the other hand, we need to update our states. And we need to mark the input as consumed. <laughs>